Right. Um, x equals 4t, four, four y equals t squared. Take 3, this is. Right. This is 2t. So then dt dx is going to be 1 over 4, isn't it? Okay, so then dy dx is dy dt times dt dx, which is 2t times a quarter, which is t over 2, right? So that is, of course, then enabling us to do part A, which is I show the normal to see at the point P, right? The normal, so at P, dy dx will equal to little p over 2, okay? But that's the tangent, isn't it? Okay? That's the gradient of the tangent, right? We want the normal. So m1, m2 equals minus 1. So p over 2, m2 equals minus 1. So then m2 will be minus 1 upon p over 2, which means that you get minus 2 upon p. That's the normal. So you'll have the my minus y1, which will be um, little p squared equals minus 2 over p x minus 4p, okay? So py minus p cubed equals minus 2x minus 8p or plus 8p. And then you get py plus 2x equals p cubed plus 8p, exactly what they're asking for. And then it says in the question, it says that this normal intersects the x-axis at a y-axis at b, so it's a bit like that, maybe this is your curve here, right, but then you can see then that's sort of the normal to it, is your tangent there, and it intersects the x-axis at a, y-axis at b, so you can say, look, at a, okay, on the x-axis, of course, y is zero, isn't it, so that means 2x will equal p cubed plus 8p, so x will be p cubed plus 8p over 2, okay, so we could say then, look, this is equal to OA, isn't it? This distance O to A is equal to that. Um, at B, X equals 0, because it's on the Y axis, which means PY equals P cubed plus 8P. Just divide through by P then, so you get Y equals P squared plus 8, right? And that, of course, then is OB, isn't it? It says then, um, given that OB equals 2A, okay? Find the value of P. Well, if OB equals to OA. Well, OB, don't forget, is P squared plus 8. equals twice then OA, which is P cubed plus 8P over 2. Okay? Now, in this case, then, the 2s will cancel, and you will get yourself a cubic equation like that. Okay? Which you need to factorise, because it's a cubic, and then you just factorise by calling this F of P to start with. So set P to equal 1 then, F of 1. Okay. That will equal 0. Okay, so straight away we get that out there. That comes 0. So then that means P minus 1 is a factor. Okay, because you take the 1 over, so it shows you a factor. And then we work up the other factors then. P minus 1. AP squared minus... BP plus C, oh, I don't know why I put minus there, but AP squared plus BP plus C. Now A is equal to 1, isn't it? Because whatever values here, equate the P cubed, you've got 1 there, and get the P cubed, here, BP times AP squared, so it's A. So A is always 1. The constant then is minus 8, and that will you get that by doing minus 1 times C. That implies C equals 8. And then, um, then we get the, what have we got here, um, the, equate the p squared, so that's minus 1. To get p squared from here, it'll be p times b, which is pb. Okay, pb, which will be uh, pb squared, which will be um, b, yeah, excellent. And then we do this as well, then to get the other p squared, so minus a. Okay, so... Minus 1 then equals B minus 1. Oh, that's nice. That means B is 0. That's really nice. So our answer then will be P minus 1. A is 1. P squared. B is 0 plus 8. Well, that's really nice because now if we put this equal to 0, which we needed to do, P minus 1 equals 0, or P squared plus 8 equals 0. 
So p equals 1 or p squared equals minus 8. Now this is impossible, okay, because you can't have it, you can't square root the negative. So therefore, there's my answer, p equals 1.